The reason games are said to be designed rather than composed, written or created is that they have an intrinsic utility. McGreed can paint the Son of Man with no thought as to whether that poor bloke can see with that apple in front of his face. Games are different. They are machines, and machines must function to have value, therefore they're designed. Good games, though, not only have a machine that works, but the user's interaction with the machine is mediated by an interface, an interface that ameliorates the raw complexity of the machine and allows our limited cognition to manipulate it, like a key that starts a car. Most people, when confronted with the naked componentry of an engine, will have no idea what to do. It's the same with games. Without a simplifying user interface, most players will become bogged down in simply making the machine run, rather than having fun with it. Games are not an engineering degree, so if this is true about a game, it fails. Weather Machine fails. I have been a staunch defender of Vital Lacerda. While undoubtedly complex, his games have always presented the player with a cunningly simple UI. The play of a card or the placement of a token. The gradual revealing of the board, ramping up the complexity of decisions as the game progresses. Kanban and Lisboa are beautifully designed machines, and their UI even better. Your turns are functionally simple, but it's the ramifications of those turns that make the game. There's no UI in Weather Machine. All the naked parts are on show, and putting your hand into the whirring cams might take your fingers off. There is no attempt here to slowly introduce the complex concepts to the players. It's been splatted on the board all at once, and you have to try and work it out, and you will work it out because you've paid 120 quid for the privilege. In Weather Machine, you place things to get other things that have arcane names to try and persuade you that there is any theme attached to the game whatsoever. This affects other sections of the board in a series of effects that are simultaneously willfully opaque and super prescriptive, forcing you down a certain path of actions whether you want to go there or not. Before you can go down the path, though, there are a hundred little fiddly rules on where to move some things, on, on what spaces you can go to collect other things, and increasingly frustrating limits on what you can do and when. Everything is available from the start, leading to a spaghetti junction of decisions, and this results in the game having no definable arc. It feels as difficult to do things at the beginning as at the end, and there is never that wonderful feeling of agency as you warm up into the play of the game. You grind all the way through. As an allegory for life outside the upper middle classes, it's great. As an enjoyable ludological experience, it certainly is not. It's just so frustrating in that arbitrary way that it, it seems the designer just wants to make the game difficult for you for the lols. You build things, and to do so you need cogs of different colours that you collect throughout the game, but to use them they need to come from the same horizontal row in your workshop. There, there seems to be no thematic reason for this. It just seems to be there to make it harder to do, to slow the game down. Maybe this is a conspiracy on the part of Big Wig, because it makes me want to pull my hair out. It seems to me that this game is a result of a surfeit of success. At this point, any Vital Lacerda game with Ian O'Toole art will do gangbusters on Kickstarter, and so free reign can be given to any idea the designer wants. You see it with writers and film directors as they become more powerful than those that edit their work. Their work becomes unwieldy and self-indulgent. This is the case with Weather Machine. There seems to have been less care in this one than previous Lacerda O'Toole productions. For instance, on one section of the board, coloured cogs are used to indicate that they must be spent to fulfil the action. The exact same icon is used on another part of the board simply for decoration. It is that kind of slipshodness that could be the indicator of too much success. This game needs editing. It needs refining. The mechanisms need tooling. This crawl to greater and greater complexity in these kinds of games is not an eternal good. You can just get too fiddly, and Weather Machine is that. Euro games are clean burning engines that have great performance. With Weather Machine, you'll get COPD from all the fumes you inhale just trying to keep the bloody thing going. Thank you for watching. 
enjoyed it. And if you did enjoy it, you can like and subscribe. And if you really enjoyed it, you can go to patreon.com forward slash 5G for D and you can help get these videos made. Thanks again.